Mallory. Duh. Guess you closed up shop early. I suppose you need all the time you can get to pack the one toothbrush and three pairs of socks you've been able to fit in your cabin out there in Nowheresville, Alaska. <laughs> wow. I can't believe we're going to be town mates again. Workmates. Movie night mates. I don't know what to say, you know? I'm stoked. I'll admit it, and you should be too. It is beautiful out here in, um, well, Nowheresville, Arizona. <laughs> Seriously, though, there is a sense of infinite possibility in the landscape. Some serious inspiration for your script, right? Call me corny, but you'll see what I mean when you get here. Anyway, let me know what I can do to smooth out your arrival, okay? HR was still a bit concerned that you've never worked a security booth before, but I squared everything away, and you're set to start in the new year as planned. At the very least, I trust you to keep us safe. <laughs> all right, I'll shut up now. Last night's experiment was an all-nighter, so I should, uh, I should probably get some sleep. <laughs> Love you. See you soon. for what, three months and that's it? See you later? When were you planning on telling me? Make you feel bad. <sighs> All right, cool. So now on top of the critical experiment we're about to conduct, I have to worry about you abandoning ship. And thanks for breaking the news from all the way out there in your cozy guard booth while we're at work, instead of telling me to my face. So now what? What's next with that Swiss cheese resume of yours? Barclay wouldn't have even looked at it if I hadn't pulled some strings to get you here. Another crappy job? How do you not see this as an opportunity? Something stable for once in a long line of dead ends. Did you really want to sell bait in Alaska for the rest of your life? You act like I forced this on you. Like, I tricked you or something, but you took this job. Ask yourself why. my real job for a reason. Earning a dual degree in biology and cultural anthropology is not easy. Emerging from a pool of tens of thousands of applicants to work with one of the most sought after researchers in the country? Not exactly a walk in the park either. Multiply your security work by 10 and you've got an idea of what I was doing to support myself. You think I never felt like you feel now? That I never wanted to throw it all away? This is how it goes. at the end of the tunnel, a career I've always dreamed of. Fulfilling work, life-changing work. Sure, it was painful at times to get where I am now, but it was worth it 10 times over. I know your goals aren't the same as mine, but some stability might be what you need to finally get focused on your script. <sighs> I have to get back to work. Can you please think about this some more? Welcome back, my righteous radio ravers. You're totally tuned into KZRU, the only radio station as far as you or I are concerned. It's been for you right now, and here to kick off another explosive hour of audacious ostinatos is that rose bitch number you know and love. This is Interference.
what you heard. Williams wants me to get the core research out of the lab, but I can't just... If, if they don't secure everything... And does I, I can't. I don't... Dr. Spears is? I don't... I don't know what to do. Shit. I guess... And we're back. Through heat waves, dust storms, and random equipment malfunctions, I'll always find my way back to you because, listen listeners, I have a ratified responsibility to bring you the bodacious beats you want, no, need, to hear. And I got a live one coming at you in three, two, one. Hey, come in. I made it out of the central lab and I'm in a room nearby. I don't think anyone saw me, but I, uh... Are okay. I should never have left them. 
now.
sure is quiet out there tonight. The kind of night where you can get lost in the hypnotic hums of the desert dunes and just detach, drift, to go dance among the dreams, leaving brilliant trails of thoughts intertwined within. Is what I would say if I was one of those new age esoterics. Peace and quiet isn't what I'm here for, so what do you say we kick things up a notch? I'm underselling the place, honestly. Barclay is amazing. We just got... Oh, hi, Dr. Spears. I hope you had a great Christmas. It's good to be back. <laughs> I'll be a few minutes late to lab prep, just showing our new security guard here the ropes. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, we just got a DNA sequencer. The AB370A, which I know probably means nothing to you because, well, why would it? <laughs> but this whole facility is state-of-the-art. put you in booth B, right? That's the delivery checkpoint, and between you and me, you got one of the better security shifts. The nights are quiet. You can really soak in the atmosphere. I think you'll be able to settle for a while. End your vagabondic ways. <laughs> Is that a word? Oh, I've got a walkie-talkie. Technically, it's for emergencies only, but I'm sure no one will mind if I uh, appropriate it for a quality gab sesh. Oh, God. Did I just say gab sesh? Yeesh. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> You're gonna do great. We're gonna do great, really. I promise. I'm talking 
outer space, source unknown, John Carpenter, Kilopin Nightmare Hell Monster. Holy shit, that feels good to say. Life is just flying at you like a freight train. 
Just one thing after another until before you know it, you're looking back, brain boggled and wondering where all that time went. Well, don't despair, my far out friends. I'm the conductor of this here tune train, and I say it's time to temper the tempo and treasure the tubular times we've had. Focus on that now and savor that flavor. All aboard, adventurers. Chugga chugga choo choo. system. Your authorization code for Booth B Power Reroute is 7, 2, 8, 1. Do you hear that? Hello? Who's there? There's someone in this room. I, 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 know, I, I know somebody's there. Please. Please, I need help. He sounds really hurt. I'm helping. I'm coming over. Oh my god. He's just a kid. He's torn wide open. Okay? Oh boy. I need to apply some pressure to try to slow the bleeding. This isn't gonna feel too great. Oh. What's your name? Joseph. Oh, oh, oh. Joseph. Oh. My name's Joseph. Um, it was supposed to be painless. The harvest. The harvest. Did you shoot at it? What? No, 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 no. I'm not. You're one of the scientists, aren't you? What's your name? Uh, Valerie. My name is Valerie. I'm here for you, Joseph. I need you to think of something happy. What kinds of movies do you like to watch? I used to love... Great. It's fun trying to guess the endings. I 
love sci-fi movies myself. Uh, the dissenter foretold that this night would be beautiful. All of us together, but, but where? Where are my brothers and sisters? They left me here too. Joseph, Joseph, stay with me. Uh, you need to stay awake. What about a sci-fi mystery movie? Something about a space detective who goes from planet to planet solving crimes. I, I think it could really... Am I saved? What? Please say yes. Yes. I knew it. Thank you. It's eyes. It's eyes. phone authorization system. Your authorization code for Booth B Power Reroute is two, okay. seven, now, five. Tell me two. which way to go. If you did not request it, whatever you say. Melody is being dished up by Tato Skins. Mm. Prepare your mouth for a flood of spud with Tato Skins. With only 60 grams of fat per serving, choose Tato Skins next time you crave that potato tastic crunch. Please consult your doctor before eating Tato Skins if you're nursing, pregnant, or allergic to synthetic potato skin. Now back to the Bops, baby!
to automated phone authorization system. Your authorization code for Boost B Power Reroute is zero four eight. My colleagues, are if you did not request this authorization, dead. I just tried to save one of their murderers, and he thanked me as he bled out on the floor. This isn't the same place. I barely even know where I am. There's nothing left. No career, no purpose, nothing. Nobody. What's the point? And you. I've been blindly trusting you this whole time because I had no choice. I've been relying on you. My life, the only thing left intact tonight, in the hands of who? Who are you? Are you the person I spent hours gawking at a giant Abe Lincoln head with? Because that person would have talked to me before they made the decision to leave. That person would have had the decency to consider my feelings. You've been acting like that person tonight, but there's one part of this I can't figure out. So I'm just gonna come out and ask. What the hell's with you deciding to leave me high and dry like this? How convenient an excuse my well-being is, huh? It's my own life on the line, so I kind of feel like I get to choose when we have this discussion. If you're so worried about me, it shouldn't take too long. What I need from you now is help understanding why I wasn't part of this decision. It's not because of me, right? Automated phone authorization system. Now that that's Your out of the way, code for let's get me out of here. Power I want a future with my friend. Nine. Got a direction eight, for me? Five. Zero. Great. Heading there now. Be right back. You know what never tires to tickle my soul? Friendship. People flocking together from all walks of life. Brains, athletes, princesses, clown people, vampire goths. Well, you get the idea. Folks can be very different from each other, but the point is, it's all about appreciating the beauty in those differences and building something new from it. And that's something worth pursuing, worth cherishing. So this next one goes out to all the friends out there. Keep clinging on to that camaraderie and making life lovely.
It's dangerous. It's... It's nothing like we thought. Please, you need to come with me. My sincerest apologies that you had to experience that. But you're here. And I'm here. I've been waiting my whole life for a chance to observe him outside of stasis. I can't think of another place I should be. The culmination of a lifetime of research has led to... I have all the research right here. This... us... is all that's left. What am I supposed to do with all this by myself? You... have the research with you. All of it. Y yeah what's critical, we followed your protocol. We can start over. You don't have to go down with the ship. No. The research is far more than just a career. I am its guardian. If it leaves these walls, it'll metastasize. I don't want to... No, I, I can't let you be responsible for that. I wouldn't have to be if you just came with me. I'm, I'm tired, Valerie. There was a time I wanted you to carry on this research after me, but not anymore. Let the burden end here. You have a whole world outside of Barclay. Your little friend there is proof enough of that. You don't need to coddle me. I chose this life for myself. Your work. And look what good that's done for you now. If you take the research with you, you you live the rest of your life fearing what could happen if it fell into the wrong hands. If you leave it behind, well, it's no longer your duty. But it, it's irrelevant. I won't be around either way. That's not fair. Welcome to the Barclay Institute. Are you still there? Automated Did you hear all that? Authorization system. Your authorization code for Booth B, Power Rebound. Is you made that clear. Zero. But the three. research. Five. What do I do with it? Nine. Do I leave it with her or if take it with not me? Request it. I guess so. With what we've seen tonight. I've trusted her from the very beginning. No reason to doubt her now. Dr. Spears? Here. This isn't the life I want. My mind is easy knowing I can protect it to the end. You have so much more potential beyond this, Valerie. Unit Duskin anomaly detected. Please be advised and follow appropriate procedures. You better get moving. I know. Which way? My little friend? Hmm, doesn't look like there's a door in that direction. I'm going east. Dr. Spears, thank you. For everything. I couldn't have asked for a better partner in all this. And thank you for letting me rest with my life's work. Goodbye, Miss Minos.
Does it all make sense in a very tonight Welcome kind of to way? Welcome to the Barclay Institute I'll tell you what, Boat she's right about me. System. I've got people. Your authorization you, code my four, parents. Booth B, she's Tower content being Rebrand Ahab. Is I'm getting zero, four, Hit me with that next direction. Two, nine. If you didn't... Sounds like a plan. We're getting excited for the future. The year is 1993. Five springs have passed since the infamous events at the Barclay Institute. As a first-hand witness and now well-established film auteur, you've been asked by a major studio to write and direct the film adaptation of the real-life events. How do you do it? What's your approach? choice. Make it character oriented. All the action takes place off screen. What's the style? What are you thinking? Yes, with a laugh track for all of tonight's hilarity. And starring Ted Danson? Or, I don't know. This is important. Who plays the lead? Me, that is. Who plays me? Now we're talking. We'll call it... Valerie's lack of choice.